Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering North Carolina colleges go nuclear on DEI, staff fired, offices closed, programs canceled. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. Coming from the College Fix, University of North Carolina Board repeals DEI mandates for all 17 campuses. DEI jobs on chopping block. The University of North Carolina system spends at least $90 million per year for some 686 staffers under DEI, according to a watchdog, and that's about to change. UNC sits and repeals diversity and inclusion policies and goals at North Carolina public colleges. The Board of Governors replaced its 2019 policy on diversity and inclusion with a new one that promotes equality and requires schools to report the reductions in force and spending on diversity programs. Equality is the enemy of equity, and equity is the enemy of equality. Equity's out, equality's in. And the same thing's going down in Alabama. At Alabama.com, this Alabama college is the first to close DEI office after state bans diversity programs. And this is that college. Jackson State University closes Office of Diversity and Inclusion to comply with state's new DEI ban. From the College Fix, University of North Carolina's board replaces DEI mandates for all 17 campuses. DEI jobs on the chopping block. The UNC System Board of Governors voted to repeal a five-year-old policy mandating diversity, equity, and inclusion offices on each of its 17 campuses paving the way for diversity jobs to be cut system-wide. The Act's policy had also required the UNC system office, plus all UNC universities, to work towards DEI goals. But not no more. The 24-member board voted by voice. Two black trustees voted no on the new policy. 22 voted yes. The vote prompted protests near the meeting, some of which became violent, according to reporters on the scene. The vote replaced the repealed policy with a new one that calls for each institution to certify that by September 1st, 2024, that it fully complies with the university's commitment to institutional neutrality and non-discrimination. A local news station also added, it requires each school to include a report on reductions in force and spending, along with changes to job titles and position descriptions undertaken as a result of implementing this policy and how those savings achieved can be redirected to initiatives related to student success and well-being. In an information sheet handed out by the Board of Governors after the vote, it said the goal of this policy is not necessarily to cut jobs, but to move our universities away from administrative activism on social and political debates. But that's what the colleges want to do. They want to have political and social activism financed by state governments. How could you stop them from doing this? because people have had it with this DEI nonsense. It's going to take some time to determine how many positions could be modified or discontinued to ensure that institutions are aligning with this revised policy. The new policy places an emphasis on equality, stating that each be treated as an individual deserving of dignity and inclusion. In defining diversity, it lists backgrounds, beliefs, viewpoints, abilities, culture, and traditions. This move puts DEI jobs on the chopping block. DEI-related positions will likely either need to be terminated or job titles and descriptions tying them to DEI will need to be changed, according to the Rally News and Observer. Open the Books, a nonprofit fiscal watchdog says, the University of North Carolina system spends at least $90 million per year in pay and benefits to some 686 staffers under DEI. The new policy, quote, appears to allow some DEI-related efforts such as those dedicated to student success and performance to remain, though they could have to be changed in some way. The whole idea, of course, is to change the policies so that it's not discriminatory, so that all students have an opportunity, and it won't include some students based on their skin color or their gender or their sexual preferences, and exclude other students based on those same reasons. The policy also provides exceptions for student-led organizations, such as extracurricular clubs that receive funding from student activity fees. UNC System President Peter Hans said at the meeting that students and faculty should confront competing ideas, but the role of public universities is to remain neutral on political controversies, according to the Associated Press. Quote, no one can speak for the whole university community on contentious issues, 
because the university is not of one mind about anything, Hans said. As the College Fix reported last week, UNC Chapel Hill, the state's flagship university, agreed to eliminate $2.3 million in diversity, equity, and inclusion funding and allocate the money spent on such efforts to police and campus safety instead. And from WRAL News, UNC System repeals diversity, inclusion policies, and goals at North Carolina public colleges. The UNC System Board of Governors, which oversees public colleges and universities in the state, voted Thursday to repeal and replace its policy on diversity and inclusion, a move that could lead to the elimination of diversity-related positions at schools across the state. Dozens of students plan protests about the removal of diversity, equity, and inclusion policies and potentially jobs before Thursday's final vote, the last step in a months-long process by the UNC System Board. Two Presters were detained in the lobby of the building, far from the meeting. The 24-member board has all been appointed by Republican state lawmakers. The move comes as universities in other states, including Florida and Texas and Alabama, have cut diversity jobs and Wyoming, and Iowa, and multiple states. Quote, higher education does not exist to settle the most difficult debates in our democracy, UNC System President Peter Hand said in the meeting. Our role is to host those debates, to inform them, to make them richer and more constructive. That's a vital responsibility, and we can't fulfill it if our institutions are seen as partisan actors in one direction or another. Yeah, they know that at the institutions. They were abusing their power to just get their points of view only in any debate. So there would not be any debate. So everything would be one-sided and completely discriminatory. Well, not going to happen in North Carolina anymore. On said higher education must maintain principle neutrality, saying it enhances free speech rights, protects academic freedom, and allows us to welcome genuine diversity. Nichols from Charlotte said she wanted people to feel as if they'd been heard. Quote, I just wanted to be said that there were some people who felt they weren't heard, she said at the meeting. Quote, and all that I wanted to say, I could say, I represented the people who said, we didn't feel heard. And if you understand that sentence, you're a wiser person than me because that sentence doesn't make any sense. But it is what she said, so I had to tell you. Jean Davis, a member of the board, said DEI programs and their predecessors, quote, have made our universities feel more welcoming to a more diverse group of people from North Carolina and beyond. He credited the programs with making the universities more reflective of the richly diverse fabric of our state and have made our universities more welcoming for all. But Davis, a local lawyer, said he favored the change to the policy, saying he's been made aware of things done in the name of DEI that made him uncomfortable. Quote, it hurts when you feel that you're not accepted and that your differences are held against you, he said. I don't want any student, any potential student, any faculty member, any staff member, any alumni, or any citizen of our state to ever have that feeling. Pearl Burris Floyd, a retired scientist and former state lawmaker who serves as the secretary of the Board of Governors, worked in the field of diversity, equity, and inclusion. She said she hoped that campus leaders would not feel as if the board had turned its back on them. Quote, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and I must add belonging, are part of growing, said Burris Floyd, a black woman. I really don't care what their skin color is. Just make it fair for everyone in your college and stop with having different options available to different students based on their skin color as if they were disabled or as if certain skin colors are royalty and they need to have certain entitlements because other people aren't as good as they are. Just stop it. Treat everyone the same. That's all we're talking about. That's why I've done like a thousand of these videos now because we are having some successes. So I'm going to keep covering at least these successes as we get them. What the policy actually says. The new Board of Governors policy calls for each institution to certify by September 1st, 2024, that it fully complies with the university's commitment to institutional neutrality and non-discrimination. It requires each school to include a report on reductions in force and spending, along with changes to job titles and position descriptions. The new policy places an emphasis on equality, not equity, stating that, quote, each be treated as an individual deserving of dignity and inclusion. In defining diversity, it lists backgrounds, beliefs, viewpoints, abilities, culture, and traditions. The new policy completely replaces the previous policy put in place in 2019 that establishes system-wide diversity and inclusion metrics and goals and created a UNC System Diversity and Inclusion Council. And here come the job cuts. DEI programs across the system had similar goals, but used a variety of new tools to meet these goals. UNC expanded a program to help low-income, first-generation students apply for college. 
North Carolina State is in a partnership to provide digital equity in all 100 counties in the state. UNC Charlotte added Google Select language widgets on their web pages. And the DEI office at App State pushed through the chosen name initiative, where students can change their IDs and diplomas from birth name to chosen name. So you can change your name on your diploma to whatever name you want. Perhaps you could sell your diploma to somebody. That seems valuable, but probably not a good idea. For I think that DEI is divisive, said trustee David Boliak, the Republican Party's nominee for state auditor. I don't think it's productive. I don't think it gives a return on investment to taxpayers and to the institution itself. How dare you speak the truth, Dave Boliak? Well, he spoke the truth and the decision has been made. A 2023 UNC Chapel Hill report outlined 25 positions that have at least 50% of their work dedicated to diversity and inclusion efforts, including seven within the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. The list also included positions such as the Director of the Office of Rural Initiatives for the School of Medicine and the Program Coordinator within the Gillings School of Public Health. UNC Chapel Hill Interim Chancellor Lee Roberts said last week that it was premature to discuss specific cuts or job losses. UNC Chapel Hill, North Carolina State University, and North Carolina Central University are among the UNC system schools impacted by the changes. The board oversees 16 public schools as well as the School of Math and Science. But we're not going to require everyone to think the same way about race, gender, or any other challenging topic, the board said in an information sheet. But there is political division. House Speaker Tim Moore, Republican from Cleveland County, said Wednesday that the board was getting rid of the wasteful spending for DEI. Any savings would be redirected within each campus, the board said in its information sheet. Governor Roy Cooper, a Democrat, called the decision a political vote. Quote, our diversity should be shown as a strength and it has helped us grow as a state, and it shouldn't be used to show our political divisions, Cooper told WRAL in an interview. And unfortunately, I think that's what this vote is about. It's a political vote to show political divisions. I'm concerned about the protection of students on our campuses. I'm concerned about whether this will hurt our ability to recruit innovators, scientists, and researchers. Well, Roy, I hate to tell you, it's not going to hurt any legitimate activities at colleges. It's going to get colleges focused back on doing the work they're supposed to be doing, selecting and supporting students and faculty that are appropriate for the mission of the colleges, which is not to do anything diverse. It's to turn competent students into competent professionals. In November 2022, Cooper established the Governor's Commission on Public University Governance following controversies and turnover at the UNC system and campuses. Cooper was concerned that political influence was leading to bureaucratic meddling at the state's universities, he said in a statement last year. Democrat leaders also argued that DEI has made students from an increasingly diverse North Carolina feel welcome. Democrats also say repealing these policies could drive businesses away from the state. Quote, I talked to legislators in Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Georgia. They're telling me, you keep going this way, we're already going after your future industry, Representative Maria Cervania said. A Democrat. American Civil Liberties Union of North Carolina Executive Director Chantel Stevens, that's this lady, called the decision deeply troubling. The ACLU said it's calling on the board to reconsider its decision. Quote, our university campuses must be environments where students feel included and are able to fully engage academically. And DEI programs serve an important role in achieving this, she said. Pulling funding from these programs undermines these efforts. No, Chantel, pulling funding from these efforts undermines your efforts. We're going back to equality. We're leaving equity in the dust. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another story. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.